I'm gonna show you how to make pompano jigs at home. Uh, if you go to the store, you gotta pay like two dollar for three dollar each, and I lose too many of them because I fish a lot for pompanos, so most of them they get stuck or they get uh, you know lady fish who bite them the line and they go so i'll show you how to do it step by step all right uh, i have here a long shank i think this is number two hook and just gonna lay down i'm gonna make my own design so i have to start it from here and end it over here Something like that. This is gonna be half an ounce or five eighths an ounce, not too big. So and this is how it's gonna look. something like that I'm gonna show you how to do it I'm gonna need the hook a piece of wood you know simple things scissors because I have to cut that pen knife I think that's it so that's my uh, design over here, I'm going to cut it, it's going to look like a pyramid. Right, let's try. Uh, this is how it's gonna look. All right, now uh, I made my design. I'm gonna carve a small, I'm gonna cut it here. Small ones, you don't need too much, just small pieces like quarter inch by two inch. I'm gonna cut it and I'll show you. I did carve that. I'm gonna cut it. This is how it looks. All right, I'm finding the middle of the jig over here, and I'm gonna cut it inside so I can fit my hook inside there. So I can go half of that here. I want my hook to be over here in the middle, and the other side too. And after that I have to shape it, use some shape. As you can see, I'm just carving it. 
slow, don't catch your hands. I'm going to shave it a little bit more from inside so the hook fits perfect in the middle and uh, I'm going to shape around here give it the shape I want and the next thing is going to be gluing the hook so it doesn't move, fill it up and we're gonna make a molding. All right, guys. Uh, I finished the shape. I mean, carving the wood for the jig. So that's what my jig is gonna be. You see. So what I did is I cut it over here. So I can fit my hook inside and I put some glue on top. So now this is ready for molding. I'm going to make a molding and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, I uh, cut four pieces of wood. I glue them with a glue gun, you know, whatever you want to glue it. And uh, that's the molding. So, I use a molding clay, you can find this at the dollar store, it's for crafts and projects, that's how they look, just get like 4 or 5 of them, squeeze them together and make them flat. After you do that, you take this molding, after you do it flat, you take this wood and put it on top. Okay, taking my jig, I'm going to stick it inside. Alright, you see? I put my jig inside there. Half of the jig, not all of them, just half. Press it down. Take a pencil and make four holes on the corner of the jig. I'll show you later why did I make these holes. I'm gonna get some uh, bondo ready because we're gonna make this molding of the bondo. And I'm gonna throw up like a um, half an inch or three quarter of an inch bondo on top. I'm gonna let it dry. Alright, so you make sure it's not any holes around there or space around this jig over here because if there is one you have to close it so you can give them a great shape to the jig. Alright guys, what I have here is a Vaseline. So, it's like a lotion for your hand or whatever they use them. I'm gonna put it around the jig on the molding. So when I put the bond on top, that thing is not gonna stick to your jig or to the molding. So it will pop out easy. I'm just going to go around here. And after, I'm going to get ready to put the bond on top. 
All right. That's the bondo. It's like a car repair. And uh, I'm gonna mix it on this cup for the molding inside. So I can throw some. I don't need much, so now I'm gonna throw it here and mix it. All right, guys. I think that's almost ready. Now this is going on the molding. Just go slow. So you don't leave no hold around. No air goes inside. Shake it a little bit so it's not bubbles on that. All right, after 45 minutes, now slow we're gonna remove the clay. All right. So this is one part of the mold, you see that clay is not sticking too much because of the Vaseline I put on it. Slow. All right, so we got one part of the mold and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean that very good. Don't move the jig from there, just leave it there. Clean it very well. And we're gonna put a little bit of Vaseline again here. So when we put uh, a bondo on top of this, so we can make a, a two part molding, you know? So the holes I made, you see that? So, when I put that uh, bond on top to make the other part of the molding, your molding is not gonna move anymore, left or right, when you put them together, every time you put a lid inside to make the jig. But I'll show you step by step, all right? All right, that's one part. Now, we're gonna do the same thing again. Put Vaseline on here. On the molding around. So your jig doesn't get and get stuck there on the bondo. Because that thing is like a glue. Gonna go around here.
I'm gonna do all my molding and I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna put the other part of the molding on top. Okay? Alright, we're gonna mix the other part. Make sure you mix it very well. Because this thing dries so fast. A little bit more. Alright, after like a, maybe like two hours, three hours, this mold is dry, comes apart now. Just gonna separate this. Now I'm separating. Let's see. I don't know, just go slow. All right, I think we did good. Gonna remove the jig slow. All right. All right. Now the molding is ready. Take the jig out. We got this. I'm gonna clean up the side over here. Just gonna clean those a little bit and I'm gonna cut it over here and on the other side too, same thing, make a hole on both sides so I can put the lid inside. I'll show you a little bit. I'm gonna mark it over here. This is where the holes is gonna be for the lead. One is gonna be for the lead, one for the air to come out. So I wanna leave some mark on the other side so I know I cut it straight. See? Press it. See, you got white marks over here now. I know where to cut it. All right, I did cut it. See, now the mold is ready. We're gonna do some jigs now. See, uh, put my lid over here, and the air will come this way. Well, got my hook right there, as you can see. Remember, I did these holes before when I started the molding. See how it came on the other side? So, when you put that, mold doesn't move left to right, it's right there. Alright guys, I have the hook ready, uh, this is gonna be our third jig, first pump on our jig, alright, uh, I'm gonna melt some lead and put it on guys just gonna put some lid over here shake it a little bit so it takes like five seconds 
All right. That's cold enough. See? Take the jig out. Cut the extras. And uh, voila. I'm gonna clean it a little bit and powder coat them. It's good. Ready to try. Taking it out. Pulling out the axis. On. Oh. I made like 10 of these, so I think it's good for like a couple days. Alright, now we done with the jigs that's what i'm gonna do for today and i have my powder coat here i'm gonna paint them got a pink yellow and white so and i have my heat gun here so i'm gonna hit them with the heat gun put them inside in the white first and i'm gonna choose what kind of color do i need Open the hole. Take them for a little bit. <coughs> and there you go. This is all for this video. I'm gonna show you my results, my pompano jigs, and my molding. That's the mold I made. So this one and. That's my pompano jigs. So I made some with yellow. I make pink, yellow and white, pink and white, pink and yellow. You know, I'll try. This is like a half an ounce. And I think this is all for this video. So uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.